Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So we're going to go for the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette, the brand new one which is absolutely beautiful and we're going to do a look. So yep, yeah, let's just dive right in. I'm going to really skim over my base because I don't change a lot of that so it gets boring if I just keep going over and over it. So I'm going to do the Revlon Primer which I always use. Now I've done that I'm going to go in with the Pixie Glotion which Again, recently, this is an absolute obsession. Has sort of an iridescent finish to it, so it gives you a really lovely glow. And I don't really have a plan for this look, but I have a feeling it's gonna be relatively dark, so a good glow is always nice. Going in with the Revlon concealer and just covering up all those baggy eyes and dark circles <laughs> and any spots. So now I've done a little bit of concealer, I'm going to go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Soft Ochre Paint Pot and just go around my eyes with this big point S Real Techniques brush. And this just gives me a lovely base as well as putting some longevity to the look. I'm not really fussy where I go in this sort of respect because it's either going to have powder over the top or it's going to be foundationed up once we've finished these eyes, so it doesn't really matter. So this is the palette with a very big mirror this time, apparently that was a complaint she had last time and I have used it already, I've had a little play so that's why some of them look a bit messy. But to start with we're going to go in with Desert Sand and just go over the soft ochre just to give it a bit more longevity. Now I'm going in with musk just in the crease to add a bit of depth. Now I'm going in with a tiny little bit of Eden, just really focusing on that outer corner, that's why I've got a slanted brush for this, really focusing on that V shape. Now any that's left over I'm just going to swipe over the whole lid to bring it back together otherwise we're going to have a very white inner corner with lots of colour on the outside. And I'm going to go back in with a tiny bit of musk. So I'm just going in with amber but leaving the middle of the eyelid empty. You can bring it over the top a little bit 
I just want that middle bottom bit really, really empty. Set that aside because we're going to darken it up in a minute. I'm just going to go in my finger and Blood Moon, so it's a really glittery red colour. Really similar to that amber colour. But glittery. Now I'm going to go back in with Musk to really blend that out. And I'm just going to add a little bit more amber and then on the outer corner I'm going to add Oud which is slightly darker. And then finally I'm going to add Cosmo onto the top of that middle one. Now let's get this face sorted. So now we've done everything, I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna go in with some eyeliner. And finish off with a bit of mascara. Right, I'm just going to go back in underneath with musk because I think it'll be too much red if I go in with the red colour. Perfect. Now let's get this. Now let's get this eye done. And that is the finished look. I hope you like it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.